Hey guys, it's Drek, and I want you to appreciate my full meaning when I tell you that I wasted $20 so I could bring you this review. And boy, do I feel bad about it. This is the Zombie Strike Z Squad Chainsaw. Now, there are a lot of things that are wrong with this product. We will start with the most obvious. This is a $20 foam toy that doesn't do anything. Now, I have spent actual money on foam swords before that have been an absolute blast to play with. I will even justify the purchase of the Stonewall Shield and Knife because both of those products are just a ton of fun to play with. But this is ridiculous. It's non-aerodynamic, which means that you can't throw it. All this tells me is that somebody over at Hasbro finally got around to playing Gears of War, and when he proposed that at the board meeting, nobody said, maybe this is a bad idea. So here we have it. It is the Zombie Strike Chainsaw for all of your roleplay dreams and desires. And it's just really, really silly. Now, the reason they're charging $20 for this one is because it has kind of loosely adhered, and my model has some errors in it. Either that or it's supposed to open up. Either that or it's broken. One way or the other, it's supposed to look like this and hold this sound box inside, and you were supposed to be able to press this button here. Here? It's very tough because it's trying to send the sound out through this holes, but if I just push here, it's breaking out of its shell. Anyway, my model might not be the best, but you can hear it is supposed to make chainsaw noises, which is just kind of crazy. Now, the big draw here is that you're supposed to be able to make a Lancer-style rifle by undermounting this onto your blaster, so that's what it looks like on a... Magnus, it looks very silly. This is not ergonomic. I guess, in theory, if you wanted to do some cool videos where you actually are Gears of War meleeing people, you could come down like this. But I would rather just have a blaster than a combo like this. So I guess, in theory, this is the bayonet that everyone has been asking for forever. But I do not much care for it. I don't think that it makes a great foam blaster or foam weapon in and of itself. This sound box makes it dangerous and kind of flimsy. In all honesty, it doesn't have that great core that most of the Nerf melee weapons have. And in addition to that, this handle is completely empty, which means that if I were to twist hard enough, this would just break off, which is rather upsetting. There's exposed hard plastic, which is not the best, but like even putting it on an actual rifle style blaster, I'm sure that there are some, but the long shot can't fit it here. The Alpha Trooper being the best of the the rifle style blasters has only one place to put it and it looks like that. So just imagine how ridiculous that looks. I guess you could flip it and oh my gosh. So I guess the point of my review is that this is definitely a pass. A lot of these more recent zombie strike blasters have just been gimmicks. If you really must have a zombie strike blaster I highly recommend the long shot or the new zombie strike Magnuses have really sweet recolorings to them. I think that they're nice but the hammer shot is great. All of these most recent foam weapons are not. I will not be purchasing the hammer. I will not be purchasing the baseball bat. If Hasbro decides to send them to me, I will politely make a review for them. But if this review is any indication, they probably do not want to do that because this entire line is gimmicky and ridiculous. I have no interest in the current Zombie Strike foam weaponry. They did do a repaint of the Vantage Sword, which is just as nice as the Vantage Sword ever was. If you don't know what a Vantage Sword is, I did a review for it here that you can check out. And Nerf really needs to step it up if they want to make foam, we uh, foam melee weapons. We need more Marauders. We need more warlock axes like it was already really good where we had it and we would just love more things along that vein so that has been my review of the zombie strike chainsaw and as always guys thanks for watching Hey guys, so if there isn't a video Monday, this video is going live Friday. It's actually being filmed the Tuesday before and scheduled for Friday because I don't want you guys to miss an update, but I will be at Dragon Con all weekend. That is what I do um, this time of year, Labor Day weekend. Dragon Con happens in Atlanta, and it's basically like my Christmas. I just love it. And I enjoy going with my friends and just focusing on having a blast the entire weekend with them. So I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of Nerf related things. There are a couple of Nerf things that I need to get done. While I'm at the convention, a few fans want to meet me. But 
I will probably make some Dragon Con related videos if you would like to see those. Leave me a comment in the comment section below telling me that you would like to see some Dragon Con footage because I'd be happy to upload it here. I've done a walking tour of comics and pop art, which is part of the department that I staff in the past, and that received kind of mixed feelings. So if you would like to see a little bit of my Dragon Con experience, feel free to let me know. If not, I can always put them up on Everyday Alchemy, which is quickly becoming a Hearthstone channel because I am hooked. Alright, as always, appreciate the viewership.